The next seeded process that we're going to look at is the voting approval process. This process was added sometime in the evolution of the 11i product because as we talked about before, the standard approval process didn't have a voting method. So this is essentially the same uh, workflow with the uh, standard approval notification getting replaced with the vote uh, yes, no uh, notification. So when we look at the properties of the voting approval process and look at the function name, we can see now that unlike the standard approval process, it is not null. And we see it's got the workflow standard function vote for result type. And just like the standard approval process, this one has a performer that's the item attribute called approval list name, although in this one it is delivered uh, seeded already. In fact, you can see by the gray in those areas that we can't even modify this uh, process. And then when we look at the note attributes, we see the voting option here called we require all votes and that we need 100% uh, yes, um, which is called black ball, which is that anybody voting no will cause it to be rejected. And here, again, right out of the workflow developer's guide is the different values on the voting option. Um, when we look at the reference note from Oracle, uh, they talk about using the require all votes. Now as we move into our customized process, and we've talked about wanting to be able to route uh, work to different people in the organization, we needed a facility to identify those people. So the facility we're using is the descriptive flex field on the change order header uh, form. And you can see in this process, we've got uh, a manager approval and we're now pointing to a different approval list which will have a different uh, person or group of people in it. We then have a notify um, list. These are the people that need to be notified when the ECO is approved. We have MEIE actions which are essentially uh, the creation of the bill of material and the routing for this item or the, the changes to the bill of material and, and routing. So now we're actually routing work to somebody. They'll get a notification saying, hey, you need to take your MEIE actions on this change order. And the next step in the process will be that the cost accountants need to do a cost roll up to see any uh, cost implications from that change. And then the last uh, flex field we're using is a list to notify people after the ECO has been implemented that there are uh, some actions that need to be taken. In this case, it was setting item attributes. This is the approval list form in Oracle Engineering. And as you can see, uh, these are the approval lists that were set up in the flex field. And if you look kind of behind the list of values, you can see the list has a name, a description, and then you can put a list of employees um, on the form so they will either get notified uh, to vote or notified that they have work to be completed.